to inspect the wheels and brake system and perform a tire rotation on your Sportsman 570, follow these steps. Take a close look at each tire. Verify there is sufficient tread depth. Tires should be replaced once they reach 1 8 inch or 3 millimeters of tread depth. Inspect for damage that may compromise the integrity of the tire. Next, inspect the tire pressure and verify it is set to specification. Reference the owner's manual or tire pressure label on your vehicle for the correct specification. Lastly, take a close look at how the tires are wearing. If there is irregular wear, it may be time for a rotation. Next, inspect the fluid level and condition in the front master cylinder, located on the left handlebar. If fluid is needed, clean the area with a clean cloth. Then remove the two cover fasteners. Lift the cover off and set aside. Do not allow brake fluid to contact painted surfaces or paint damage may occur. Add fluid as needed. Do not overfill. Reinstall the diaphragm, cover, and fasteners. Torque the fasteners to specification. Next, remove the seat by pulling up on the rear and pivoting back. Inspect the rear brake master cylinder and ensure the fluid level is between the min and max marks. Add fluid as needed and reinstall the seat, ensuring the front retainers are properly engaged. Next, begin removing the tires by loosening the lug nuts before the vehicle is off the ground. Do not remove. Then, safely elevate the vehicle. Reference your owner's manual for proper lifting techniques. Remove the lug nuts and set aside. Then, remove the wheels and set aside. Follow the front brake lines from the front reservoir to the front junction block in the center of the chassis frame. Continue inspecting the brake lines to both front calipers, looking for any leaks, kinks, or damage. Also, ensure the brake line retainers are properly secured. Inspect the connections at the front brake calipers for leaks or damage. Move back to the junction block and inspect the rear brake line running along the left side of the vehicle and to the rear master cylinder. Inspect the brake line connection at the master cylinder for leaks and continue following both lines back to the rear caliper. Inspect both connections at the rear brake caliper for leaks. Next, take a look at the brake pads and rotors. Always allow the brakes to cool completely before performing inspection to prevent the risk of burns. Check the brake pad thickness using a suitable tool. Be sure to check the thickness on the inside pads as well and replace any brake pads that are worn beyond their minimum thickness. Also, use a brake rotor micrometer to measure the thickness of the brake rotors and replace if worn below the minimum thickness. If inspection reveals any concerns, do not attempt to drive the vehicle. See your authorized Polaris Service Center. Next, the tires can be rotated, if applicable, and reinstalled. Due to differing configurations, some wheels may not be able to be rotated. Always pay attention to all markings and directional indicators on the tires. Install the wheels on the vehicle and hand tighten the lug nuts. Safely lower the vehicle until the tires begin to touch the ground. This will help keep the wheels in place when torquing. Torque the lug nuts to specification in a crisscross pattern. Finally, lower the vehicle completely. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.